This video content is not intended for children. <laughs> Realistic fishing. Thank you, man. I love the channel, by the way. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm over here at Skeletor Park to try a new bait. Gulp earthworms. These are the red wigglers. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Oh, and before I forget, I had a few people asking me what kind of hooks I use on my panfish rig. This year I've been using these. Size 8 Bronze Aberdeen Hooks Panfish. I got them at Walmart a few years ago, and I found them at the bottom of my tackle box, so I decided to take them out and give them a try. And so far, they're working pretty good. Let's try some of these gulp worms. Look at that, never opened. Let's pinch a piece off here, see if we can get a bite. Here's what they look like. They kind of look like hamburger. We're just gonna pinch off a small piece, about three quarters of an inch. All right, I'm gonna try and thread it on the hook and leave a little bit of the tail hanging off like I would a regular worm, just like that. Check out those geese. I fished in this location many times with gulp minnows and I've done fairly well. So we're gonna see if we can get a bite on these red wigglers. Gulp minnow is probably my all time favorite, but if these work, hey, it's awesome. I do wanna catch some fish today. With all the rain and bad weather around here, the fishing has been pretty tough. There were tornadoes about five miles away from here this morning. Well, nothing on the first cast. Let's keep trying. My handle is getting... Oh, I think I had a bite. I was busy looking at my squeaky handle. Here's my only catch so far today. Piece of chopped up seaweed, whatever you want to call this. Aquatic vegetation. Hi, this is Brayden from Michigan and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Is that a bite? Couldn't tell. No. Got him. First fish of the day. First fish of the day. Nice big bluegill. All right. That's a good looking fish. Got him on those gulp red wigglers. All right. How about that? Got about an eight inch bluegill here. Yeah, green and silver. Got that gold on the belly there. Yeah, about an eight incher. That's a good looking fish. Let's make sure my worm is on there good and get it back out there. Nice bluegill there, nice bluegill. Slow bite today, that was what, five or six casts before I was actually able to catch one. Might end up doing a red wiggler versus gulp minnow challenge if I can't catch too many more. I'm hoping that switching to something else might 
improve the fishing because so far it's really slow. Oh man, is that rain? It's raining. I'm gonna go get a raincoat. I also grabbed the gulp minnows while I was in there. Maybe they'll help me catch more fish. Did I get a bite while I was gone? I did not. Who else would be out here bluegill fishing in the rain with gulp red wigglers just to see if they work? Realistic fishing, that's who. And honestly, I'm not getting many bites on these. I'm on what, my 10th cast? I caught one fish. I had one other bite, maybe two. Just not much happening. I'm about to switch to the gulp minnow and see if things change. All right, I'm done with the red wiggler. We're switching to the gulp alive minnow. Notice I leave this white cap on here that prevents it from leaking. It doesn't prevent 100% of the leaking, but it makes a big, big difference, and that's just a tip. This is Ian, an Englishman in Oklahoma, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Seems like the rain is letting up. I have switched to a gulp minnow. Hey, fish, right there, didn't even know it. Got a nice little bluegill here. A little bit shorter than that last one. All right, this one's about seven and a half inches long. Fat belly though, look at that fat belly. Yeah, good looking fish. Second fish of the day. Yeah, that last fish grabbed it while I was reeling it in. And just like that, the sun is out again. The birds are singing. Life is great. You know, I was hoping to have a blowout here, like, yeah, I caught a ton more on the gulp minnow. But that's just not the case. Fish. Not a very big one, but I'm glad to have another one. Bluegill. Look at my gulp minnow. It worked its way up the line. Let's get a look at this fish. Easy. Caught it. <laughs> Come on. Feisty. I just want to look. Man. There we go. Got about a seven incher here. Not very tall, but it's a feisty fish. Fish on. Another bluegill, about a six incher here, maybe seven. Yeah, not a lot of color on this kind, you know, kind of purple green on top and silverish blue on the bottom. Some people say that the females are the ones with those dull colors and the males are the dark green with the bright yellow belly. Ah! 
Oh, I missed them. That came flying at me. Luckily, I didn't hook myself. Well, that fish stole my bait, so what we're going to do is go back to the red wiggler. This is Ted from Ted Lincoln's Fishing Life. If you're watching Realistic Fishing, keep it realistic. So we're giving the red wiggler another chance here. Got him. What do we got? Holy cow, different kind of fish. Golden shiner. Big golden shiner too. Easy, easy, easy. Damn it. Well, there he goes. I did have him. So yeah, interesting catch on the red wiggler. I got a golden shiner. A really wily one too, jumped out of my hands. So that's what, three bluegill on the gulp minnow, and one bluegill and one golden shiner on the red wiggler. Both products made by gulp. Fish. Feisty. Feisty, another bluegill. Here's another one for the red wiggler. Don't jump. Feisty fish here, seven and a half inches. There's a nibble. Dang it. They stole the bait. Let's get a gulp minnow on there for the last leg of the race. Here we go, the home stretch. Red Wiggler versus gulp minnow. Got him. Another nice size bluegill. Let's get a look at him. Yeah, good sized fish. Nice and tall. Got about a seven incher here. Hey, it's Josh from the One Ton Fishing Club. Hi, it's Jared from One Ton Fishing Club. Hey, what's up? This is Kyle from One Ton Fishing Club. Hey, this is Art from One Ton Fishing Club. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Is that a bite? Got him. All right. Fish on. Another golden shiner. Check that out. Golden, baby. Yeah, check it out. Another golden shiner here. People swear by these as bait. Pretty fish here, real shiny, nice fish. Eight and a half, nine inches. Let's let it go. So yeah, that's a golden shiner on both the gulp minnow and the red wiggler. Let's keep going. Got him. 
another fish on. Just a small little bluegill. Smallest fish of the day right here. Look at him. Four and a half, five incher. Just a few more minutes and then I gotta get out of here. I'm running out of time. Started out slow, but You know, about an hour in, the bite is picking up, and I'm catching fish. Maybe they can sense that the rain is gone for today. I don't really know what's going on. Got him. That's a strong fish, whatever it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, now that's that jumbo male I was talking about. Yeah, biggest fish of the day right here. Look at that, he's got like a little worm, like a little leech on his tail. Goodbye. That's a good looking fish. Jumbo, jumbo bluegill. Got him on the gulp minnow. Now that is a beautiful fish, and we're gonna end off on this one. Wow. Yeah, what a perfect fish to end off on. Nice, big, beautiful bluegill. Well, I'm all out of time for today, but I did catch some nice fish. I got some big bluegill, some golden shiner, and I caught them on both gulp minnows and red wigglers. If I had to pick one, I would still say the gulp minnow did a little bit better, but you could catch fish on either one. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.